Howdy campers and welcome to your second MongoDB for beginners tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install MongoDB on your computer. Alright then, so the first thing you want to do is head over to mongodb.com and then click this download button in the top right hand corner. This is going to take you through to the download page which is automatically going to detect which operating system you're running and it's going to suggest a version of MongoDB to download. So check that's right, then click on this download button. Once it's downloaded, just run through the installation wizard and keep everything the same. That is going to successfully install MongoDB on your computer. Woohoo! Okay, so we've done that, but we need to do one more thing to start working with MongoDB. So currently you've got it installed on your computer, awesome. However, MongoDB is not psychic. It does not know where to store the data on your computer. So you need to give it that folder, if you like, to store all the data in. So what we wanna do is go to the root level of our C drive. I didn't mean to open that. I meant to open this command prompt. This is CMD, by the way. So you wanna to go to the root level of your C drive. And then if I say DIR to show you my different directories, you're gonna see this data folder right here. That's not there automatically. I created this folder, okay? So you're gonna to need to do the same thing, create this data folder at the root level of your C drive. Then if I go into the data folder, you're gonna notice this other folder as well. If I say DIR again, you're gonna see this DB folder right there. I also created that one. So you need to do the same. You need to create forward slash data, forward slash DB, at the root level of your C drive, that is where Mongo is gonna store all of its data, okay? So you can either do that through the command prompt or you can go into your file explorer, go to the C drive, create the data folder there, and then within it, create this DB folder as well. That's all you need to do. Now Mongo knows to go into this folder automatically to store data, okay, or retrieve data. Cool, so now we can actually run MongoDB. So how do we run MongoDB? Yeah, it's installed. Yeah, we've created somewhere for it to store data, but how do we run MongoDB? Well, let's head to the documentation and see what it says. I'm gonna go to this link right here. I'm gonna leave this down below because the documentation is actually pretty good for MongoDB. This is gonna show you how to install and run it on Windows. We've already installed it. And this is how you run it right here by running this command. There's also links for installing and running on OS X and on Linux as well. So check out those if you've got a different operating system. Dead simple. Either way, we're just gonna copy this. So I'm gonna copy it. Oh, by the way, one thing you need to watch out for, you see this 3.4 bit in the middle. This is the version number of MongoDB. So if you've installed a different version, like 3.5 or whatever, you need to replace this 3.4 bit with 3.5, okay? Otherwise it's not gonna work. So we've copied that. Now let's head over to the command prompt once again. I'm gonna paste it in and I'm just gonna hit enter. That's it. This is gonna run MongoDB for us and that is a lot of crap right there. But don't worry, this is just running MongoDB in the background and you can see right there at the bottom, it says waiting for connections on port 27017. So cool, that's running. Now we can start working with Mongoose in the code and speak to MongoDB. And in every future lesson, I'm gonna assume that you've got this running in the background, otherwise it won't work, okay? MongoDB always has to be running in the background for the code to communicate with MongoDB. Make sense? To exit out of this, all you need to do is hit Control C and that stops the process, okay? Cool, so now we have MongoDB running. I'm just gonna enter that again so it runs again. We've got MongoDB running on our computer and it knows where to store the data. One more thing I wanna show you in this tutorial is how to clone the GitHub repository that I've created for this playlist. You don't have to do this, by the way. You can just watch and work along with the files as is. Or you can clone the GitHub repository and have access to all those different branches if you want to. So to do that, I've created this other tab in Commander. And by the way, to create a new tab, just right click at the bottom and then go to New Console. And uh, yeah, here we go. So you can see I'm already in this directory right here. This is where I want to clone the MongoDB playlist repository on my computer. So you navigate first of all where you wanna clone it, just using CD and then whatever directory it is you're going to, okay? Then we need to use Git to clone the repository. Now at this point, you're gonna need Git installed on your computer. If you don't have that, what you wanna do is head to this address right here. I'll leave the link down below and just click this button. That's gonna install it on your computer for you, all right? So do that first of all, then we can clone the repository. So I'll leave the link to the repository down below as well. Go to that, 
just go to clone or download and then grab that thing right there that's going to copy this kind of address to the clipboard then you want to go back to the command prompt and you want to say git clone and then paste that dude in hit enter that is going to go out grab all those files clone them on your desktop all right so it's done now and if i go to atom this is my text editor and if i go to new project folder or add project folder I'm going to look for the repository, the directory that it's installed on my computer. Should be called MongoDB. There we go, MongoDB playlist. I'm going to open that. And you can see in here we have the end files of the whole thing. All right. Cool, right? So we want lesson one. Now, to do that, all we need to do is come to our command line there and we'll say git checkout. Or rather, first of all, we want to direct into the new directory. So we say cd mongodb hyphen playlist that's going to dump us in the actual project directory right here you can see git status if you like and that's going to say which branch you're on okay so we're on master at the minute then to go to lesson one i'm going to say git checkout lesson hyphen one that's going to switch to lesson one and if we go back to the code now you're going to notice all that stuff is gone and we've just got a clean directory to work with okay so now, I want to do one more thing, and that is install Mongoose so that we can just start writing code in the next tutorial. Now, what I'm going to do is create a package.json file first of all. And that package.json file is going to keep track of all of our dependencies for this project. So, let's head to the command line again. I'm going to say npm init, and then that is going to ask me a lot of questions. If you want to just skip all those questions, just do this double dash yes and that is going to create that package.json file for you with all the default values if you like okay cool so now you can see it's created that package.json file and it looks something like this but let's check it out in the editor as well we can see it right there now and there we go i'm just going to zoom in to all this code so you're going to be able to see it clearly on your screens so what we need to do now is install mongoose remember mongoose is that package that we're going to use to interact with mongodb which makes it much more easier for us so what we need to do is go to the command line again and then I'm going to say npm install mongoose and I'm going to do double dash save. That's going to save it to our dependencies and by that I mean it's going to save it to this file right here as a dependency so that whoever else uses this code in the future knows that we need to install mongoose to run these projects that we're going to be creating. Okay. Okay, cool. So once that's installed, we can go to our package.json file and we can see now it says dependencies mongoose. Okay, so now that's installed, we can start working with it in the very next tutorial. So don't forget to share, subscribe and like guys, and we're going to see you in that next one.